So today I'm going to show you my 6x10 cargo trailer that I've converted into a camper. This is a 2003 cargo trailer. So this door was originally not on this camper, so I cut it out and then I uh, used the material from that and some aluminum and a 3 quarter inch plywood. Made a door, also added that latch. And then as we go inside, this was designed to still retain the functionality of hauling like an ATV or a snow machine. So these beds fold up out of the way. Like that, and then you unfold it and it ends up the same as that. These are just cots from Walmart. They're pretty cheap. I don't know what they cost off the top of my head, but I just have a little piece of strapping on the bottom there to hold it on the wall. I don't know if that will be permanent, but that's what I have now. Um, we just have shiplap, pine shiplap on the walls. They're all insulated with blue foam. Bunch of hooks. This is insulated with spray foam in the corners. Just the hand bottles of spray foam. We have some LED puck lights. Those just press in. It's all 12 volt. Um, these are rod racks for fishing rods because that's the main reason I use this camper. I go places and go fishing. Now on to the kitchen area. We have a cabinet. You can see how I kind of insulated the upper corners of everything. Same up here. Some wiring and stuff up in there. Everything was framed with 2x4s, 2x2s, 2x3s, and 3 quarter inch plywood for the doors. It's all pretty cheap stuff. And these cabinets I secure with this while I'm underway. Those are just basic drawers put the cooking utensils and plates and things like that in there and this cabinet is more storage I have a fire extinguisher there I have lights in the cabinet so you can see everything the wiring is a disaster right now you can see I have a solar charge controller and all the wires and the fuse block in there there's a paper towel holder little magnet for knives and things. This is a propane stove. It runs on a 20 pound bottle that I usually have in here. Oh, come on. How'd you get in there? So I usually have a propane tank in there and I hook it up to the hose. And then that's only on when I'm cooking and then I shut it off. I know that I should not have the propane inside of the enclosed space like this. There's a sink that has no water running to it. Originally I had a a water tank here and I had a bed that was built in but I decided that I wanted to haul an ATV with this so I removed the bed and the tank and everything and now it's just a sink. Around here it gets pretty cold and the water wasn't working out very well anyway so I removed it but I can still use a jug and I set it on the top and drain water in and then it comes down and then I put a five gallon bucket here and catch all the gray water and then I just dump it out later and down here I have a diesel heater it's a Chinese diesel heater it works pretty great and that is run with this controller here and then here's the switch panel they're not labeled quite correctly but they have lights on that one and then I have an exterior light on that one so I have this fan here it's a pretty good fan I enjoy it, it works great for when you're cooking and stuff it needs to be cleaned but that's that Go outside. 
As we step outside up here, we have a three gallon fuel tank for a boat. That is uh, the tank for the diesel heater. I think it will run for 24 hours on one gallon, so that works pretty good. I think it's pretty good. And then down here we have the fuel pump. And it's pretty quiet the way it's mounted, but apparently it looks like it's about to fall off. We've been using this quite a bit. It's kind of dry rotted. Um, there's just a one RV battery. It's a 100 amp hour or something like that. It's just a heavy lead acid battery. And then on the hitch, we had a jack here, but that jack takes a while to turn down and it kept getting caught on the ground. So we added this wheel jack, which is not the best, but it's a lot better than what it was. And then over here, we have the exhaust for the diesel heater. And I actually did move the axle forward on this trailer because it was originally too far back and there was about 400 pounds of tongue weight without the battery and stuff on the tongue. So I moved it forward nine inches and now there's about 200 pounds before I put the battery and everything on the tongue. So that's worked pretty well and it still pulls amazing. It pulls straight better than before. And then on the back, we just have the original doors. That way I can still lock it and things like that. It's a pretty basic setup here. Up on the top here, we have four 100 watt solar panels, which is overkill, but they work pretty well. That pretty much concludes my enclosed trailer camper build. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. There's some more stuff I want to do to this yet, so if you want to see that, subscribe. Thanks for watching.